nuts. Been following this girl in this parking lot for like five minutes. She can't drive because she's trying to light a cigarette. Classy as hell. Um, I just finished everything up for the week, so we're done. Welcome to the weekend. It is Seattle weather. It's um, 56 and, uh, and, and drizzling, raining all day, which is okay because it's spring and that's an excuse for it to be miserable. Uh, the other 300 days a year, it doesn't have an excuse, but it still is most of the time. That quiz done, um, so that's cool. It's 319, so I'm out about 10 minutes early, which means traffic here on Summit Street is significantly more manageable. We're doing uh, 24 instead of about 10 miles an hour. Oh, but the road still sucks. Do you hear it just destroying the car? I do. Struggling to remember if I even made a first clip for the video today. Maybe I did. I, uh, I am headed to the Stokent Panera to meet grandparents. I, I call them some. I usually do. Hey, look at the license plate. FLD. I thought Derek had a Volkswagen. Anyways, headed to grab some dinner. Uh, it's uh, 57 degrees and still very cloudy. Um, supposed to get a lot of, I almost said snow, a lot of rain tonight. Uh, there's a flood watch until tomorrow at like 4 p.m. So it might get a little frisky tonight. But uh, that's all right, car's already dirty. And if it keeps doing this to the grass, that is fine with me. We've got daylilies coming out. I'm not looking at the camera, so hopefully you see it over there somewhere. There were daylilies coming up all over the place. Um, at Kent, the landscaping crews are out. Uh, they, I think I mentioned this before, but they must spend a lot of money on whoever they contract in there to do landscaping because, you know, they're out there every day in the fall blowing leaves. Uh, it's, it's just really well taken care of. The winter, they let it go because it's a lost cause. But when spring comes back, they've uh, all the day lilies are up. They've planted a bunch of boxwood to put mulch down already. It's April uh, 11th, and they've already put um, mulch down, which, as Colt points out, smells like shit, but I love it because it reminds me of spring. Right, so E39 Source will be in California for uh, 12 days. In June this year, the 10th through the 22nd, uh, we'll be in San Diego for most of the time. We'll be in LA probably for a day. Um, and we may make it up to San Francisco. So Hassan in Long Beach, LA area. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to meet up. You know, we'll probably do the same stuff we do in LA all the time. Um, we hit Santa Monica for a while, Beverly Hills and Rodeo Drive and um, Alfera Street downtown. So that should be really cool. I'm looking forward to that two months from yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. I'll talk to you later. Sorry if it gets old when I talk in the car. This is where I have time to think and holding a camera in my right hand on the steering wheel is, uh, is it's fine. Anyways, uh, Timmy Fest. Uh, I think some of you guys have heard me talk about this before. You may even know what it is. It's in Columbus at Polaris Mall. Um, it's a couple day event. We're planning on going on the 8th, which is a Saturday. That's the show day at, I think it's at a Jiffy Lube or something like that. Uh, again, June 8th, uh, Polaris Mall in Columbus, Ohio. About two hours south for me. Uh, it's right in the comfort zone. I've never driven myself down there in this car, but I I've been to Columbus a couple times. It's been a few years though, so I look forward to going back. Um, I should be there. Canon will be there. Uh, we're talking about Andrew from E39 Source with the 2000 Jet Black M5 in, um, in Jersey. He should hopefully be there. Uh, Luke from Miami, in Cincinnati, North on Oxford. Uh, hopefully he'll make it there. Who else? Alex might go if he has a car by then. Colt may go if, if that works. So that should be very cool if we can get everybody down there. Uh, you know, it's, I'm not necessarily going as much. It's a BMW and Mercedes event. I'm not going as much to see a bunch of E39 M5s. As cool as that is, I, I have one. Um, but it's going to be a great way to get a bunch of people from E39 Source, a bunch of friends together, meet a bunch of people. It's a pretty big event, so I understand. So I definitely look forward to it for that aspect. There's a nice X5. I noticed that there's a lot of facelifted E70s around now, and they're all the 3.5 liter. Uh, I was actually looking at E53s just for the hell of it on uh, cars.com today, and they're all, all the ones that have the six speed manuals are the three liters, the inline sixes, which is a great engine. It's probably the same engine that the E39 530 had. But I wonder why I can't find any 4.4s, 4.6s, or 4.8s with the three pedals. Did they not make them, or are they more of a rare collectible car that you're not going to find all over cars.com? That I don't know, but um, I actually really like that. I would like to have one of those X5s someday with a 
with the six speed and the quad tips out the back with the V8. That'd be a fun car. Look at that plate. I just found 007. Apparently, Derek D and James Bond drive Toyota Camrys now. Look at that. 28 miles to the gallon average from uh, Summer Lake here. That's driven uh, very economically, shall we say. Sixth gear down my street at idle RPM is just enough to sustain 30 miles an hour. I learned that today. Um, so I can get 28 if I want to. You can see my average over the past six weeks is 18. So uh, that's not terrible. I can make it a lot better, but that's just bogging the engine down and that's not good either. Gentlemen. Hi. How's it going? Tell them what we're looking for, Alex. Axes. Axes, that's right. We're looking for a, a large hatchet and or boots. Well, I'm um, looking for an axe. The axe or... Which we can't really find the boots. We looked in the fishing department. I'm not asking people where axes are. That's just awkward. And then we're in automotive here. So we're going to keep looking. Welcome back, guys. I didn't film anything there for a while. Uh, we went into Lowe's and we're uns or, uh, Walmart and we're unsuccessful in what we were looking for. Um, Alex came back here and we watched some Kasim G from a long time ago. That was interesting. Uh, I've been talking to Colt and falling asleep in that chair for the last hour. So I'm going to wrap this call up, wrap the vlog up. I don't think there's anything I'm leaving untied. If there is, I'll address it tomorrow. Um, so thanks for watching this one and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.